y'all kicking it with Bray. I'm back with another video. Y'all already know what it is. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Why? Because you're gonna like this video. Because I'm about to give you some information and you're gonna love it. So I'm actually putting Vlogmas Day 7 and 8 together because, because I'm a bad YouTuber and I did not record yesterday. Why? Because I was getting my hair done. So I actually took out my hair on Friday and I was deciding like, so let me scoot over some. Is this where I'm supposed to be at? Yeah. So I actually took out my hair Friday night when I got from work and I was thinking like, well, I'm going to do a video of me taking out my hair, washing it, everything like that. Cause, um, I forgot what I was going to call it, but it was some reason why I did not end up recording. No, I recorded it, but it was some reason why I did not post it. Um, I can't even fully remember, but in which way. So I put my hair back in, put my tracks back in, I sold it back in yesterday, actually last night. Um, the reason why it took so long is because I had one over time to Chrissy's. I ended up helping her and helping Riri with their hair. So I was just like, well, I can just do my hair tonight or whatever. But I'm actually on Dick one cousin to message me back about the stuff that she used to straighten her hair because I actually want to straighten this hair. But I'm not going to be able to straighten it to tomorrow. So that might be tomorrow's video if she messaged me back tonight. And, um, I mean, did a great job to me. It looks good. Um, I actually do need to wash it, though, because I think because Auntie Christy, like, greased my hair down last night. I don't know if it kind of made this hair kind of oily or what, but I did not wash it. Um, I did not rewash it last night. And actually, I don't even know if I got this light turned up bright enough, honestly. There we go. But now it makes my face look oily. But any which way, so I really don't have on nothing too fancy. I have on these hoops, which I got these from Forever 21. When I had got those two for that two for one jewelry. These are some cute pink and gray hoops. I don't know if you can't really tell. Don't look at my nails because uh, I, yeah, I bite them. Supposed to be going to get them done probably this weekend or next weekend for Christmas. Um, and oh crap, got on the this watch. I got on this cute sweater top. I would show it to you, but my bottoms aren't really look. I like it. It's um, I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but got holes in it. It's cute and um. Yeah, so I got on my necklace with me and they can picture. It's so cute. Look at it. Hold up. I don't know if you can really tell. Yeah, there it goes. So cute. Any which way. And I got on that. And that's pretty much it. So the video that I'm going to be doing today. I actually got a request. Someone told me. Long story short, um, this girl asked me how I do long distance, and she did not know me and Daquan were still together. So, oh yeah, and why I don't post them on social media. So I'm going to be answering those three questions, or statements, whatever you want to call them, in this video. And then, um, recently, I got a request to do um, something about depression. So, um, with that being said, I actually got, um, I was talking to someone on Instagram. Long story short, I follow nothing uh, on Instagram. I like to follow people that's like that I know, of course, and then people that um, because I don't really have a lot of followers on Instagram, but I like to follow people that's like business accounts, people that um, like that's going into the business world, stuff like that. I love like that's the type of people I like to follow on there. So, um, I posted something about a depression a while back. And so me and her had mess been messaging about it. And then recently I told her I had started YouTube. And she was like, you should do a video on uh, depression. So I'm not saying that this is going to be the best video. Because this is my first time actually doing a video like this. A serious, like a serious video. Um, so let's get started. So first and foremost, I don't know if I should start off with depression or the... Mm, let's start off with the easiest one. So, why I do not post Nick one that much on social media? Well, add me on Snapchat, just underscore Vari. 
I post Nick one all the time on Snapchat. I don't really post them on Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that because I don't like for people being in my business. Um, I mean, I kind of, uh, I mean, I'm not saying that I don't want people, I mean, I mean, people know that we're together. I just don't post them as much because I don't like when people be in my business, if that makes sense. Like... I'm fine with not posting them on social media like that. He's fine with not posting me. Or when we post something, it's like, dang, y'all still together? Yeah, we're still together. Um, so me and Daquan, for people that don't know, we have been dating five years. May it make sense. And um, how I do long distance. Okay, so I don't deal with long distance well. Um, when Daquan, you're ready to leave? Yeah, I'll be fine. But, I mean, it's something he has to do. It's something that he does for work. So I kind of understand and i love him that's somebody that i'm willing to wait on and i just feel like people say they don't that they can't wait on, i'm not no i'm not knocking anybody but people say they can't wait on their boyfriend and i'm like you can't wait on your boyfriend to go work but you can wait on somebody to go to jail and come back i really be is that my mom uh but, and I think to myself all the time, like, you can wait on your boyfriend to go commit a crime, but you can't wait on him to go to work. I'm confused. Like, I want, like, I stand behind Daquan 100% on working and stuff like that. He knows that I'm a bit baby. Like, um, it is what it is. When, I don't know, like, I think the biggest thing is learning how to communicate with each other was like it's something that keeps our relationship going and like I don't know like I love him he loves me we're perfect together uh, <laughs> you know um, yeah <laughs> I don't know like um, it is uh, well let me stop being retarded it is hard to like do long distance, I get off at 4.30. By the time I get off, Daquan's all already off. And um, we text for maybe like 30 minutes or so. Then he's going to the gym and I have other things to do. Um, and then he'll text me when he get done or I text him before if I get finished first. And we talk from there. Most of the time I end up falling asleep on him. Last night I actually did stay up pretty late. I think I stayed up until like 11. I was like, go sis because uh eight o'clock i'll be asleep i don't uh there's no <laughs> there's no need for me to be up past eight o'clock i'm an old lady there's no need so um it is tough um but like i said if that's someone you're willing to wait on you love that person they love you i don't understand what's you know um but communication talking as much as possible um spare the arguing all the time i guess um i don't i guess like <laughs> um but yeah it is tough being with somebody in the military it's tough being um when it's time to go off to college or whatever the case may be but like i said if you love that person you can definitely wait i mean i'm pretty sure there's other people out there that's doing long distance you're not the only one um I don't know my friend like when she asked me about it it was just a shocker because when she asked me it was like she was uh she was like are you and Daquan still together and I said yeah and she was like what I was like yeah and she was like <laughs> you know and I was like yeah like <laughs> and when she said it I was like more so shocked because I was like are you trying to say something bad but then she was like no I'm just saying y'all been together since high school and I was like yeah yeah <laughs> like you know we're we've had moments we've had them fake breakups whatever you want to call them it is what it is you go through stuff like that so um but most definitely um if you like i said if you love that person you'll wait you will wait um and my biggest thing is like i guess when you see each other like make the most the best out of it um and yeah you'll be you'll be surprised of the things you can do sis and waiting is one of them um let's see i know a lot of people say i make it look easy but it's really not um they want to even tell you like i'm a big baby um one thing i will do now i'm about to get a secret away but 
Um, when they come from the south, I either feel like I'm sick, or sometimes I really will be sick, like Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh, I was sick. Like I did not feel good at all. I don't know. Like I had a cold and was kicking my behind, and I would not take no medicine. I think I did the um. I put the Vicks vapor rub on my feet in the socks. I did that when my brother was here. And then um, I took some, I think, Robitussin, Robitussin, whatever it's called. I did that. I took a, a, a little bit of that. And that was pretty much it. Like, that cold kicked my behind. Like, yeah. But anyways, so I either feel like I'm sick or I feel like I got an attitude, but I really don't have an attitude. I just want to want to kiss on me and stuff like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, when you see each other, just make the best of it. You know that at the end of the day, he or she is going to have to leave. Um, you know that y'all don't stay in the same area. So make the best of it. Um, and yeah, so like I said, yeah, dealing with long distance, it is hard. It's something that can be done. It's something that has been done. And, you know, like, respect your relationship. That's, I guess, the biggest part. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, I could just give you the tips that I do, and that's that's it. Like, basically, um, I probably do get on day one nurse, I'm pretty sure. Um, um, when he's here, he know how to get on mine. But... I mean, we kind of like to do the same thing. Um, oh, yeah. And then even if you don't like it, I mean, sometimes you're going to have to do things you don't like. I think they call mama told me that one time about, oh, yeah, sometimes you have to do what the other person likes to do because they want like to go to the movies, but I don't like to go, but, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's that. So moving right on along. Do not buy this. Waste the money. I couldn't figure out what it tastes like. And so it's new. It's new. Don't buy it. It's disgusting. And I, the reason why I'm drinking this because I want to get rid of it because Last night, me and Tito went to Walmart, and we picked up two new items. This, and then that sugar cookie toast crunch. The bomb. Dot com. Like, that cereal was fire. But anyways, I had to drink this because I bought it, and I'm not going to let it go to waste. And I like cranberry juice. This is the only cranberry. Honestly, my opinion. This is worse than the, um, the original. Like, yeah. I, and I couldn't figure out what it tastes like until Dwayne said something. He said it tastes like medicine. And that's exactly what it tastes like. But, hey, it is what it is. So, with that being said, we're going to jump right on into depression. Um... How I feel about depression, because I've been there. So this is not to knock anybody. This is not to tell anybody how to feel. This is not to tell anybody how to handle depression, because I can only tell you what I did for me. So I feel like it's something that's overlooked. Somebody, I don't know. I can't even tell who this is supposed to be YouTube video, but um, it's something that's overlooked, something that's misunderstood. And I think when people suffer from depression, I think, like, I think the strong people don't get checked down as much because they feel like, oh, she can handle it. Dang, these folks, people post a YouTube videos back to back, back to back, and here I am like, y'all don't get involved in this day video until what, 12 o'clock at night or the next day? Any which way, um, I gotta stay on topic. Um, yeah, it's something that's overlooked. It's something that's, like I said, um, the strong people really don't get checked on as much. Your strong friends check on them because they have feelings too. That's like, um, I think me personally, um, when it comes down to friends and stuff like that, I always focus on like trying to make them feel like lift them up, but they don't really, I guess they feel like since I'm encouraging them and 
helping them out. I guess they just feel like I'm okay. So they don't really like ask me. Um, but I don't really, I really don't. Let's see. Um, I know what I want to say, but I don't know how. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna put it out there. With depression, you have those days where you don't either. You don't want to eat. Some people will just eat, eat, eat. People don't like, you don't, you will not bathe. You just don't want to do nothing. Like you want to sit just closed up. You don't want to be around nobody. You want to be bothered. You don't want, you, social media, all that be gone. Like you don't care about nothing. Like none of that. Um, and I will, will say, I think my biggest, the biggest thing with me is, and what helped me out a lot was basically cutting back on social media um kind of like doing my own thing um because i had those moments where i did not want to go nowhere didn't want to do anything didn't really care to do anything didn't really care to go anywhere um i think i only went to work because i had to go to work um but then when i would get off from work i would just come back home lay down i just just didn't care didn't want to do anything and i think well, not I think. What I did was I just started um, going to the gym. At one point in time, I was going to the gym twice a day. Um, surrounding myself around positivity. Um, positivity is a big, big, big thing. Um, life is too short. Who? We don't have time for that negative energy. Let Sally, Billy, and whoever go on about their business. Because we ain't got time for negativity. Like, let them go. Because at the end of the day, your happiness is way more important, sis. <laughs> okay? I'm telling you. Um, I think that was my main thing, surrounding myself around positive people. Um, back to that big thing, communication is key. Um, talking, finding somebody to talk to, somebody to uplift you. Um, crazy stuff. It really is. And to like, just to sit back and think about it and just be like, damn, like that was me. Like it's tough. Um, but one of the biggest things that I will say is, um, what I used to do is I would go, I know Dunkin' Donuts sell it for a fact because I used to get it every morning. Um, chamomile tea, I think that's how you say it. And I would mix it with the, well, I would get them to steam my almond milk and I would pour it over my tea bag. Um, that and it helps with anxiety with people with depression is real good to use I think it actually comes your nerves um, just sit down I wish I would have bought my book up here but it's actually in the car um, write down some goals write down some things that you want to reach even if you just start off with something small like put a dollar in my savings account each day or something like that or um, go walk every day something even if you just start off with something small just do that um, do things to take your mind off of stuff, whatever you're going through. I re I'm a, I'm a firm believer in manifestation. I don't know if y'all believe in it, but I believe in manifestation. Um, and I do also believe in speaking stuff into existence. So like, um, say for instance, you suffer from depression and you put, oh, I want to, I guess, uh, let's see, I'm depressed. I'm never going to get out of depression. So you're speaking that on yourself. So of course you're not going to get out of depression, but more so like, um, okay, say for instance, if I'm depressed or I got something that's going on, this can work with anything. Um, most of the time, don't tell nobody what you write down. Just write it down in your book. Um, put like, for instance, like, I'm writing a book. I want my book to be published by June of 2020. Isn't it, what is this, 2018, 2019? 2019? Okay, so say for instance, I want my book to be published by June of 2020. In my book, I'm going to write June 2nd, which is my birthday. June 2nd, 2020. I, Shafari Hills, published my book. Close it up. And be done with it. Yeah? That's kind of what I believe. I mean, I, I mean, ain't no kind of. That's what I believe in. That's what I do. Um, that and just... Keeping yourself motivated, keeping yourself going. Don't focus on the negative stuff. Just focus on focus on the positive stuff. Kind of how I came out of depression. Um, well, not like kind of how I came out of depression, but that's something I did to overcome depression. Cutting back on social media. Um, 
being around, surrounding myself around positive people, positive things, doing positive things, going places. Um, one thing I did, I can't fully remember what business I was trying to, because I mean, yeah, your girl be on some other stuff. Um, I think it's when I was trying to start, I think it's when I was thinking about doing a clothing business. I would just go to Panera Bed, Panera Bed. Yeah, it's probably time for me to go to bed. I don't even know what time it is. Yeah, definitely almost time for me to go to bed. It's seven o'clock. Um, but Panera Bread is for to be a zap, and I would take my laptop. I would go up there. I would give me some hot tea. I would just read, um, do little things to take my mind off of stuff. And because, like I said, it's not easy. It really isn't, and it's like I said, something that's overlooked. And people really go through um you know different things so like i said just don't be afraid to talk to someone because it's worth it in the end people will there's people out there that want to help you there's people out there like i said when i i well i didn't tell y'all this story but i think i would did it in the old in my other video that i was gonna post but then i said i better come inside because my phone's gonna go there and then, but any which way so what made the same girl that uh told me that i should do a video on depression um so I'm not gonna say this video gives you a lot because I really don't know what to say exactly. Um, but me and her were talking and she was just like asking me what did I do? Cause she was saying how she was going through depression. I think because of the thing I posted, I'm gonna try and find it to be exact, but um, well, I don't even know how to post it on the screen to make it <laughs> so you can see it. But any which way, if you go to my Instagram, you'll see, I think uh, like, I mean, you can't miss it because I haven't been posting that much, but um, I had posted that and it was about depression and stuff like that. And she messaged me and she was like, just basically saying, Hey, have you, have you went through depression before? And I was like, yeah. And I was telling her, I was like, it's real. It's overlooked. People don't really um, take it as serious as they should. People think it's funny. People think it's a joke, but people actually suffer from depression. People actually suffer from anxiety, you know, and it's something that's overlooked. And so she was just like, you know, I, when I was telling her what I would do and like the reading the book, going to the gym, just taking my mind off stuff like that. And she was like, you know, you should do a video. So that's what this video came about. And I actually was going to wait to do this video. I was going to make it the close to the last video I did. Um, but in which way, I just decided to go ahead and do it because, <clears throat> excuse me, I had already, you know, got dressed up and uh, I was like, why not? Let me see. Photo oh, shoot. Snapshot. <laughs> Just kidding. But um, yeah, so that's that. And if you if you guys have any more questions for me, anything that you want me to make a video on, I definitely will do it if I can. Um, but yeah, that wraps up this video because it's already 20, what, three minutes long. So that definitely wraps up this video for today. I'll see you guys back in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below if you want me to make another video or if you have something that you want to say but you don't want to say it in, down below, message me. I definitely will do a video on it. I mean, I don't have nothing else to do. Um, yeah, so that wraps up this video for today. Like, comment, and subscribe. And you are kicking it with your girl. I'm kicking it with Vari. I'll see you guys later. Bye, babes.